Let's find a food truck and give him food poisoning. Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims Lore. So this is where we left Ruben and Renee off the last time we were playing. Um, this is a pretty, pretty horrible situation if you ask me. Renee here found out that Ruben was being flirty with Odin Perry. He started flirting with her and things just went downhill from there. I believe he deserves everything bad that comes his way, to be honest, and that is why I think Renee will kick him out of the house for the time being. Okay. She's just gonna yell at him. And you know what? I think this is what we need to do right now for this to go where I want it to go. <laughs> She's done. She is done. And he's gonna have to move out. So they basically broke up. These two broke up. Ruben is now her ex-husband. And Renee is now his ex-wife. I think this is perfect. This is exactly where we want him and we're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> I love this. This is fantastic. Oh my god, he just ran away. One hour later. All right, so here we are with Ruben. Uh, despite his confidence, he is homeless. And he wants to play in the ocean. I mean, I hate the fact that we can't take their phones away from them. I would love to just not give him the satisfaction of having phones and being able to play on, on, his, on his phone. I'm sure there's a mod for that, but yeah. Here he is. Nothing to do, nowhere to be, unemployed, miserable Reuben. Well, not miserable yet. He wants to enroll Bronson in boarding school. Well, I think you lost privileges to have any say in your kid's upbringing. I think I found his first victim over here. She is a tourist, so she wouldn't know anything about him. So I think we should have him introduce himself. <laughs> you woke up. Oh my god, he's already bored. Oh, he's flirting with her already. <laughs> I just... I can't believe him. My god, how does he get away with this kind of stuff? Compliment personality? He doesn't even know her. Oh my god, he's being so rude as well, but like flirty at the same time. Okay, and now he's... Oh my god, look! Oh, That's so cute. I love this. This is so cool. Just Jet doing his homework while listening to some music. You can just find completely random moments around in The Sims 3. He's getting kind of hungry, and because I gave him zero household funds, I think he needs to come in and do some dumpster diving. And of course, this is where St. John Frank's grave is.
This is so satisfying. I really hope that that's a paparazzi. He could sell both of these. Made some quick cash. Now he stinks really bad and that's just hilarious to me. <laughs> Let's find a food truck and give him food poisoning. Um, <laughs> that is the plan for today. Oh, it's closed. It's closed and it's, it's, go it's going away from us. It's running away from us. They don't want Ruben Littler's business here. Let's see if this place would have anything for him. Oh! Cressida Wells. Okay, she changed her mind. We're gonna have Ruben come around in here to figure out if we can find any food whatsoever. Let's see, we can make him fish, but I'm pretty sure we can get him some stuff. Are there no plants here? He's gonna catch this little chipmunk. Can he eat it? <laughs> oh, he's cute. Oh, look at him. Chugu Mebs, please in Lula. Winky. Oh, Imi Huva Nasha. Peru? Ow! Ah, that's brilliant. Good chipmunk. Good chipmunk. <laughs> Let's name him Chippy. I think that's cute. Uh, and even though Ruben doesn't actually deserve a pet, I think he's so cute. Look at him. I love him. I love Chippy so much. He's adorable and he deserves a loving home. Yes, I agree, but maybe Ruben can give it to his kids in a later episode. But for now, I think he needs a companion. I'm being too nice. I know. I know I'm being too nice, but you know. What can you do? That's just in my nature. He's just gonna keep him in his pocket. Yeah, see, you can give him as a gift. And I think he's gonna give the little chipmunk as a gift to maybe Bronson or Renee to kind of patch things up with them. But for now, I think we need to find him food. So I found this weird looking mushroom and I'm definitely gonna have him pick it up and eat it. <laughs> so he's just gonna pick it up. Hopefully it's poisonous. Okay, he can only plant it, but I'm gonna sell it. And I'm gonna get him really quickly to just go eat somewhere. I think Hogan's Deep Fried Diner is the perfect place. He's just gonna quickly eat here. Just so he doesn't die on us. But in fairness, he did get quite a bit of money from all of his all of his dumpster diving and all of that. So I think, you know, he doesn't deserve this, but hey, maybe he'll get food poisoning. Who knows? This place isn't uh, necessarily like that healthy and good for you. <laughs> it looks incredibly crusty and dusty and musty. <laughs> this is only for tonight because he is, uh, you know, he was just kicked out. I don't think he would have it in him to, you know. So this building is where the criminal career sims come and work. And behind it, there is a couch. So he's going to go ahead and sleep here from now on. I was kind of scouring Bridgeport and this is the perfect place. It looks abandoned 
and I think he's gonna I think he's gonna be happy here just for a little while maybe we can find him a better place or a worse place <laughs> depends all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ruben basically becoming a homeless man. I think this episode was really fun to play. I love playing kind of a rags to riches, but more on the homeless kind of side to find specific spots around the specific town that I'm playing in because it's just really cool. Like, for example, we just found this couch out of nowhere and he can totally use that to just sleep. Um, and I love foraging around the place and I just think it's, uh, it's really, really cool. I love this gameplay and I hope you're enjoying it too. And you can join me next time and see what happens to Ruben. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.